The youth climate movement has grabbed the attention of the world, and it's due to the hard work of many of the students in this room and many young people all across the planet. Along with a four-man crew, she traveled across the pond on a zero-emission sailboat equipped with solar panels and hydro generators. She chose not to fly because of the carbon footprint. I have not come to offer any prepared remarks at this hearing. I am instead attaching my testimony. It is the IPCC Special Report on Global Warming. I am submitting this report as my testimony because I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. And then I want you to take real action. Ms. Newberg, let me ask you a question. If you're sailing across the ocean and you're picking up trash along the way, and for every one piece of trash that you pick up, there's a boat right next to you dumping out five pieces, how would that make you feel? If you use that logic, then I am also dumping a lot of trash in the ocean. I would stop dumping my trash in the ocean and tell the other boat to stop dumping their trash in the ocean as well. I, I think that what we need to be doing is we need to be focusing on the countries that are dumping trash in the ocean. Of course, that's a metaphor. Here we are talking about reducing emissions, yet China, under the Paris Accords, are going to be increasing their emissions by nearly 50 percent. So while in the United States we need to continue investing in innovative solutions and exporting clean energy technologies, it makes no sense for us to be doing it if we're simply watching for increases in, in China. When your children ask you, did you do absolutely everything in your power to stop the climate crisis, can you really look them in the eye and say, no, sorry, I couldn't do anything because that country over there didn't do anything, so if they're not going to do it, then I'm not. That is shameful. I will just echo what uh, Greta said, you know, it's not about talking, right? It's about making sure that we're listening to science. Um, and my Republican colleagues have a long way to go. Uh, I hope that at some point um, that, that that switch happens for them, that they, that they realize that there is a place for science and we must be guided by facts and not just by opinions that are made up in their own minds.